Hey everybody, it's Lavetta. I'm back again, and as you can see, I'm in the office studio. Um, that up there is how I recycle my coffee cans. I turn them into like little cubbies for things. But anyway, I am here to do an unboxing of the GoPro HD Outdoor Edition Hero 2 for professional use. Um, like I said, I picked this up probably about um, three weeks ago. And as you can see, I have not opened it yet. But, oh, that came off. I'm going to unbox it now. I'm going to start off at the bottom because the top has like a little thing there and I don't want to rip it in case that's going to be like necessary or beneficial oh I don't want to rip the box either I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can see my hands there I'm going to start off with trying to get this little wedge thing that's always going to bang my existence out of there and it's not coming so I have to tear it a little bit and people who know me know that I kind of eight tearing boxes because you just never know if you're going to have to return something or anything like that. Up here there's a little plastic pull tab thing that I guess will release it. There's another on the other side. I have a long fingernail on my thumb and it makes it kind of hard to do things. Okay, and I was thinking that it should slide right off, but it's not going to. I'm going to have to what looks like destroy the box and I hate doing that because I like keeping the boxes to my electronics for a year after I've had them oh I gave it a push and there it is so this is what's inside of the box as you can see it says GoPro be a hero um, I didn't buy this to do any like extreme shots there's a little tab back here I didn't buy it to do any um, like extreme sports or stuff like that but if the occasion arises, I will use it for that. Oh, that was cool. Good long piece of tape surrounding. And then the little clear part comes off. And I kind of wanted the choir to go, ah, right there. Um, and it flips up. Oh, it's mounted some kind of way. That's cool. Make sure nobody gets it. Um, there's an instruction manual, which I'm kind of notorious for not reading, but. I'm definitely going to read this one. Um, USB cable. You know, it looks like I have 15,000 of those laying around. You can never have too many. Uh, this is a 3.7 volt battery. Like some kind of a little housing around it. Oh, cool stickers. Um, there's like, what, three of them? It says GoPro be a hero. I will be using those, sticking them on stuff. Okay, that was the compartment that was set down in there. And here's another one. Ooh. The inside of the Ooh, sorry, honey. Back up. Inside of this one is Ooh. strap. Oh, you know what? This is the head strap. I think it says it comes with a hand strap. Uh, photo capture, da, da, da. What's in the box? Yeah, I think this is the head strap, which I'm probably going to be using that for. Yeah, there's a little picture there, head strap, because um, there are certain instances where you need your hands free. Here's what looks like some mounts and things. Yeah, two curved, two flat surface um, with adhesive mounts. This is what I originally wanted the camera for because I'm going to be doing some um, filming like in my car and things like that, you know, when you can't, um, when you really kind of can't be holding the camera. And this here, like mounts and things clip on there, is a vented helmet strap. I will probably not be using a helmet strap, but yeah. Um, I don't see, oh, there it is, inside of here, you heard that noise in the back, you know it's my phone, but um, inside of here is what they call the three-way pivot arm, um, you can loosen it to 
tighten it, swing it out. And this will be good and helpful for when I mount the camera inside of the car for um, car rides. Now, I need to figure out exactly how to get this off. I guess this is when you would pretty much need to uh, read a book. But I hate doing that by any means necessary if I guess on my nerves to read it. Man. Oh yeah, see, you figure some things out. This is the waterproof housing. Um, you know I'm probably not going to pull that off because I have not read the book and I don't want to be breaking anything. But, uh, hold on. It looks like this should come up and this would flip off. I don't know. I'm going to look because I refuse to break something that I've just pretty much opened. I am going to probably end up getting the um, the 3D Hero system a little bit later on. I will definitely be doing an unboxing when I get that because that's what I do. Uh, I guess you can also use um, the cord to like export and things like that. You can probably use it to charge the battery since I don't see any other way of doing it. Swapping housing doors. See that? I love pictures because, yeah, it's just easier in my mind. Swapping the housing doors. You want to lift this up. Although it doesn't seem like it wants to lift, that gets a little scary for me. But you know what? If it's supposed to be waterproof, I can understand why it would be like mega hard to get off and on because you don't want. Um, did you see how I just popped that up and I had been pulling it the wrong way? It so has an arrow right there that I wasn't looking at. Flip that. Then it comes out. And then the back part comes open. And what, does the camera just come right out? Because it is not looking like it. Yep. And then the camera itself comes right out. See that? So this is the GoPro Hero 2 with the underwater, this will be really helpful on vacations, with the underwater housing. Uh, it looks like here is where your memory card will go. This is where the USB will plug in. Or you can plug it up. To, it looks like some other device might plug there because here is where USB plugs in. This is where your audio system goes. You can also put a microphone in here if you can see. That's really cool. Um, I'm going to open it up and show you inside there. There are product numbers and things of that nature. Um, a little cushion thing for the battery. And then I'm going to slide that right back on because I don't want to lose anything. Up here is uh, what appears to be off and on. Oh, a little button that's pushy. <laughs> I don't know what that's for because I have not read the book yet. So, anyway, this is the Hero 2 GoPro camera. I bought this. Um, I usually don't tell people where I buy things at, but because this is my YouTube family, and I know a lot of you are future filmmakers as well if you've been following my school journey, I found this camera because I've been wanting it forever once I saw what it did. I found this camera at uh, Target, and it was $2.99. So I think that's roughly what they run on the website because I've been checking it out for a while. But I'm the kind of person when I want something, I want it now. So that's just what I'm going to get and what I'm going to do. So I picked it up and I can really say that I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I can't even imagine wearing this like on my head and yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> If, if it does, this will end up with like rhinestones or something on it. Or I'll put like a, I'll take this mount and I'll get it sewn on to a She Busy Productions like hat or something. I'm so not going to, this looks like, never, never mind. I'm not 
not even going to go there. But um, so this is it. It's the camera with the waterproof housing. The book, um, two different types of mounts, one with a flat surface, one with a curved surface. Of course, I'm dropping everything. The three-way arm, USB cord, battery, three stickers, and this looks like some kind of really cool mount that um, is going to end up being <laughs> recycled just because I like it. And it all came in this nifty box. Oh, and don't forget the um, helmet strap. Now this, I could probably get into this. But yep, so that's all that I have here. And if you choose to go out and buy the GoPro Hero, let me know. I will be doing some test footage with it soon. And um, I'll let you know how I like the footage. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. And have a good day. Bye. <laughs> she busy.